Hey, man, what it is. This is Dean, and I am your host, and this is By Any Means. There go to Cash App, dollar sign Dean By Any Means. There go to PayPal, at Dean By Any Means. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. I don't care if you leave a dollar, ten dollars, a thousand dollars. It is much, much, much appreciated. Y'all, unfortunately, Tank Davis and Shakur not fighting. You got Turkey Ali, Kashyyyk, and Shakur out here hugged up on the gram. You know, like how you be with your new side chick. You feel what I'm saying? And then, like, Shakur said PBC ain't call him back. We haven't heard anything since then of how true that is, like, today. Because that was a week or two ago he said that. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I don't. I don't see this fight happening. The writing is on the wall. The writing is on the wall. I feel like Shakur gonna take the Williams to pay the fight. People gonna sit up there and say Tank ain't sent on the contract, even though you got to negotiate first. So I'm not gonna send you a contract, and you're negotiating to take another fight, which is what the part of all of this that people don't actually understand. You don't just send contracts to people. You got to negotiate first before you send a contract because you're not going to send something that you don't even think the person is going to sign or he didn't agree to sign anyway. That is a waste of time. You know why? Because you got to get lawyers and certain people to type up contracts. That cost. That might be too much for a lot of boxing fans to quite understand. And um, yeah, but at the end of the day, y'all, I don't see this fight happening right now. And I think that uh, it's a power struggle going on. I think Shakur want to get as much money as possible. They talking about he turning down 20 mil. And the funniest thing is, y'all, just through my sources, I heard that Shakur turned was, was asking for 20 million a week and a half ago. So now that that's getting reported somewhat, but I don't even believe that all the way because I don't think Shakur will want that out there. I think he know what the backlash should be if he actually was asking for that. I think he know what the backlash should be. I ain't putting it past me. He could. You never know with Shakur. But I, I don't think he doing that. But what I do know is that he don't want that fight that bad, and I don't feel as though that Tank and them want that fight that bad right now for a multitude of reasons. First of all, I think one of the main reasons Gervonta don't want it right now because I think he knows that Shakur don't want it right now. One of the reasons I think Shakur don't want it right now because I think Shakur wants to try to leverage the bag. I actually do think Shakur wants as much money as he could possibly get. And I think that he don't want to take that risk of being a meme right now. Unfortunately, if things don't go the way he's supposed to, I don't think that he really want to take that risk of being a meme. So I just hear the fans like, yeah, send the contract, and it's funny because y'all acting like Devin fans. When Devin, they so-called send the contract, y'all understood that it was fake and it wasn't that simple. But now it's just send the contract, and it's just kind of weird to me, to be honest. Like Shakur Stevenson fans out of everybody should understand that just sending the contract ain't that simple, but that's not what's getting, you know, uh, that's not what's getting put out there to the public. And the thing that I'm I'm disliking that I'm seeing is like people are just okay with Shakur just not doing nothing. Just waiting around on tank and that be that. Like, and understanding that negotiations is a two-way side, is a two-sided thing. Like, yeah, you can answer the phone, but if you're not um negotiating in good faith don't none of that mean nothing if you're answering the phone that part don't really mean nothing if you got other fights signed up anybody can answer the phone and say whatever but at the end of the day it's like as proactive as i think javante need to be about making this fight i equally think shakur stevenson needs to be just as proactive and when people try to give him a pass for for, for not being proactive but his mentor, Earl, um, Terrence Crawford, when Earl Spence was the A-side, people was talking about how um, he needed to be, be proactive and how Bud needed to be proactive. Bud was sitting up, 
it, 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 it's just too many excuses. But then when David Benavidez is proactive, everybody be like, Dean, why he ain't activate his mandatory? He don't really want to fight. Why he ain't do this one with Jerron Ennis is being proactive? Oh, Dean, he, he ain't doing this. What he bring to the table? And it's just weird, man. If Turkey is trying to make the biggest fights possible, right, y'all? He knows there's not a bigger fight for Shakur Stevens than, Jer than Gervonta Davis. The only way I would let them slide with that is if y'all are telling me that y'all are y'all think that Turkey Ali Kashik don't know that um, Gervonta Davis is the biggest draw in boxing and that that is the biggest fight actually that could do the most for the Riyadh season and could do the most for Shakur Stevenson. Y'all want me to act like I don't know he know that. And y'all say, well, Dean, he throwing money around. Well, tell him to throw it around then. Tell him to throw it around. Oh, there's a number that Gervonta Davis would take. I guarantee that. Oh, there's a number. Are you willing to pay it is the question. But there is a number. And if you want him to do business with you, you got to put a little tax on that dollar that he could already make without you. But again, it's like people don't understand that. I'm not with the notion that Shakur Stevenson get to just sit back and do nothing as much as he's been talking. You got to be proactive and reactive. Reactive is you answer the phone. Yeah, PBC, I'm interested in making a fight. Proactive is if they don't call, you call them. So you know for sure that Gervonta don't want to fight you. So then you could do what? Then you can move on with your career. But the thing Shakur Stevenson don't get to do is make Gervonta Davis be on his timeline. You're the severe B-side. You're not even just the B-side. You're the severe B-side. As far as monetary, what you bring, you are the severe B-side. And if we being not biased, and we're being fair as boxing fans. Everybody understands that. You should understand that. No different than somebody will have to understand that dealing with Canelo Alvarez. But it seems like people want to force things to be done. This is the thing about power. When you're in power, can't nobody force you to do nothing. I don't care what, what, what Turkey's saying, what Eddie's saying, what Bob say, and what goddamn... um. Oscar De La Hoya say if they have opportunity to make a fight with Javante Davis and they're getting paid the right number, they're going to do that. It's been proven in the pudding because they've already done it. Bob Barron was, he, he, he let Loma. Loma decided to back out. Bob ain't telling you to do that. Bob gave him his good graces. Oscar made Ryan Garcia fight. Only person that hasn't done business with Gervonta is Eddie Hearn and Turkey. So it's just like you don't get to go all the way against his adversaries when Shakur Stevenson is a free agent. And Shakur Stevenson literally can go to the PBC, get a two-fight deal, and make him fight Tank. He can literally do that. Unless Shakur Stevenson, which has been noted, that Shakur Stevenson hasn't even tried to go to the PBC. I can't just give him a pass for that. If the main guy you want to fight is over there, Terrence Crawford did it. I can't give a Shakur a pass that we wasn't giving Terrence Crawford. We didn't give Terrence Crawford that pass. Terrence Crawford did exactly what we said he had to do. And it worked out for him. Look, look how things worked out for him. He won. And then Earl went through surgery and wasn't forcing the issue in the rematch, so he, he didn't even have to stay at the PBC to do the rematch. That's all Shakur got to do. But Shakur, ain't, he's not even willing to see what they're talking about, so that's what I'm talking about. I can't be mad at Tank all the way when Shakur's not doing his part neither. They are both equally responsible in making this fight. What their responsibilities are, are different. Gervonta's the A-side. He needs to be proactive 
and reactive too. Proactive from Javante Davis side. Hey, um, Shakur, what's up? I'm trying to fight you. I need to know what's going on. This is the split. I'm going to give you a fair split. Javante Davis' job is to be proactive and to make sure he gives Shakur Stevenson a fair deal and not lowball. Everything else is Shakur Stevenson's responsibility. But people don't want to hear that part of it, though. When Terrence Crawford, who was the number one pound-for-pound -pound guy in the world, he had to do it. Berlanga had to do it. Hami Mungia had to do it. Caleb Plant had to do it. Triple G had to do it. That's all I'm saying, y'all. So the writing is on the wall for me. Um, I'll be surprised if they is fighting, but I don't think they fighting. I think I, 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 I think that Tank is on some, oh, you're not trying to play ball the way I need you to play ball, or you want some diva type stuff? Well, I'm going to show you that I, I don't care that much. I think Shakur is trying to put himself in the best position as far as making himself for a side. And I think it's more about that than it is about actually fighting Tank. I think it's more about competing with Tank. So when he actually does fight Tank, he get the most out of that. Which I'm not mad at all the way, to be honest. But at the same time, be honest with the public and don't, don't act like this is what you want to do next. And it's not really what you're trying to do next. You're really trying to fight William Zapata. You would much rather take that fight. Because my thing is, y'all, now if Javante Davis takes William Zapata from Shakur, y'all going to all be crying foul. And that's why I say Shakur Stevenson is equally responsible. Y'all know what this is. Ding. By. Any. Means. And I holla at y'all.